I do want to address this, Marcus, because last week the Chargers are playing for nothing. It, there was nothing that could happen. They're already in the playoffs. They couldn't change their seating. You think Brandon Staley should have played Mike Williams? <laughs> the, 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 the answer is no, he shouldn't have, Boogie. Um, but being in this league nine years, some coaches' philosophies are different. And I know fans don't want to hear that because we're sitting here hindsight 2020 with Mike Williams not playing. Um, and, and we also thinking about the implications that that has on the rest of the playoffs. So, no, he shouldn't have played him. But it's also another part of this where you go throughout your week. Let me take people in the locker room and during a week like this. Guys, we're going to try to get some work. We're going to play this game so we can stay in rhythm. We're going to get we're going to go out and try to put our best foot forward because that's what we do as football players. I'm not saying it's right. Before people start tweeting us and going crazy on mm. us, I'm just saying that these are the conversations based on who you're differentiating between head coaches. Some guys would have set their entire crew out. Some guys would have played a few guys. And then you have this situation where you play the starters. Now, here's the reverberation of that, though. You will be blamed, Brandon Staley, if you don't win this game. And it may cost you your job. I know it's harsh to say that, but it may very well cost him an opportunity to continue to coach this football team because, look, now we are sitting here with 2020 vision. We understand what has transpired with the explosive nature of what they, what Mike Williams is. He's a $100 million receiver as well. So when you get to this point, everything is elevated. Even the decision-making from front offices and general managers and especially owners. So I would I, I want to see, one, how they play against Jacksonville. Two, how is this offense affected by that? Because he'll be getting evaluated by offensive production based on this Mike Williams not being available.